Hey, beautifuls. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Laura and Persephone from Bad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And yes, I am in my pajamas. But you know what? It's a pajama kind of day today. Um, and I don't have any Thanksgiving pajamas. My pajamas range from um, Halloween to Christmas and then just... Uh, regular plain pajamas but here we go i'm in my polar bear jammies i got my christmas hat on hoping that bod puts out a thanksgiving hat for me but if not that's okay because um uh i have an idea but that's not what we're here for today i want to welcome all of my new subscribers and my continuing um, subscribers for, um, uh, playing games with me because, you know, I do like to play games. Um, <laughs> she, she might come and attack me, but that's okay. Alrighty. So today is week, um, week, uh, oh, please. What week is it? Uh, it is week uh, 43 of uh, Bod Hatapalooza. Um, I, after this year, I think I'm going to change it and do just fun themed hats. Um, they, they, I love hats. Um, I wear them all winter. I'm, and um, I get pleasure out of making people smile when they see some of my silly hats. And um, I love to wear my silly hat. So I am going to be on the move looking for silly hats to make um, next year. No clue what I'm going to call it, but um, yes. There we go. I do not have enough hats for Bod Hatapalooza next year. So, I'm going to be doing um, some picking and choosing of different people's hats um, who look fun. So, with that in mind, let's finish up week, what did I say, 43? 40, 43, yes, and that was the Christmas tree hat. This is my second time making the Christmas tree hat. And my, uh, what, it, what is it that it, I used to be a very, very tight crocheter and now I, I'm a bit looser. When I first made this hat, it ended up looking like, um, like a little point on top of my head. It was so small because I had crocheted so tight. My, my tension has improved. Is it tension that I want to use? Yeah, I, yes, my tension has improved. And um, this Christmas tree hat actually looks like a Christmas tree hat. <laughs> it's kind of gaudy, but that's okay. That's... Okay, they're going to get wild in just a second. Okay. Yeah, that tail's going. So, um, I did use a bigger, larger hook than she did. I used a K which is a six and a half millimeter. So here's my K that I used, you know, ugly green. Um, I used, she's gonna get ready to climb up Madonna. Nope, here she comes again. Yeah, hey there. Or she's gonna steal my chair. No, I guess not. Okay. It's normally Matilda that I have to watch out for. So, um, 
for the trunk of the tree, I used Big Twist Value in the color taupe. It wasn't my first choice, but this was the only color barky looking thing I had. And it looks like I have a couple of ends in this one. It's the first time I've ever seen that with Big Twist. I don't know where she went. Oh, well, so that's what I used for the tree trunk. Um, for the actual tree part, I finished one of these. Um, I used a complete one, and I used part of this one. So I used two parts and a hole, maybe two holes. There we go. So this is um, Loops and Threads uh, Kaleidoscope. Loops and Threads is a Michaels brand. And um, this was made in Turkey. Excuse me. Uh, the color is Jasper. It's a uh, Loops and Threads Kaleidoscope. This is not made anymore. Um, I do still, this is the last one of this color, but I do have um, a couple other different colors. Uh, I got these, it says $3 clearance, um, but I, uh, they had just been sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. So I was able, um, I told the person there that I would take all of them off their hands if they gave it to me for a dollar or a skein. They did, so now I'm almost to the end of all of these. I've donated a lot of hats using these. Um, so it is a super bulky number six yarn. 80% acrylic, 20% wool, machine wash, cold, gentle, and dry flat. So that's what it is. Um, this is the inside color greenish and then there's some you know other ones so I know you guys want to see my hat well okay don't laugh at my hat I went outside the box um with the hat I need to put those in there and then put that on the shelf so um I did not glue any I need to put that back on the shelf. I did not glue any um, pieces uh, or glue anything on mine. I went totally rogue. And, um, well, you know, we sometimes we have an overabundance of things. And I have an overabundance of some stuff. And so that's kind of what I decorated my tree with. So... Um, without further ado, here is my tree hat. So I had, you see, I put stitch markers on there to decorate it. And yep, they move. <laughs> but see, you're also going, what is that other thing? Well, I have to take it off and, uh, Okay, let me hold it in place. And, uh, well, there we go. So, you can't really see it in this picture very well, but, um, or in this uh, light, but it does have lights on it. So yeah, there we go. That is the thing. That is the thing. That's my hat. Um, I just thought that I'd have some fun with it with the lights. And uh, you can see that the lights are coming off. And that's okay. Because uh, I made it. Hello. Okay, so there we go. What do you guys think of my hat? I uh, decided to use stitch markers for decorating it and uh and lights 
and I was going to make some tinsel with some furry yarn, but, um, I didn't ha I don't have any more eyelash yarn, so, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So there it is. Oh, I got to fix my frog. There's, there's my Emily frog right there. So there we go. What do you guys think? I think it's cool looking. I will, I took a picture of it in the dark while it's glowing or with the lights on. So, um, there is that. And sometimes the lights like to stay in place and sometimes they don't. I cannot wait to see what you guys did for your hat. Um, I have, uh, oh, oh, thank goodness that didn't break. Okay. That was my coffee cup that I was using today. All right, so thankfully my coffee cup <coughs> didn't break. And um, I have seen Ellen's hat and um, loved it, loved it, loved it. I haven't seen anybody else's hat. So um, don't forget to stay for the slideshow. And... Uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week, but we also have to pick next week's hat. So let me put this right here because I got to end up using that for something. Let me get, I need to put these in the computer. So here we go. I have, let me get, do this real quick so I have the numbers up. Okay, so now I have numbers. So, let's find out which one is going to be next. Anybody want to do a turkey hat? Not today, but next week so we have it in time for Thanksgiving. Let me know. I'll pick one for us to do. Or we can just stick with Bod Hadapalooza till the end of the year. Okay, uh, let me... There we go. Nothing up my wrists. I mean, up my sleeves. Up my hands. Up my fingernails. Up my bracelet or watch. Or my rings. Okay, here we go. Persephone, are you going to tell me when to stop? No? Okay. Alrighty. Maybe if she looks back at me, that'll be when I stop. If she's ever going to look back at me. Maybe I can make her look at me. Nope, not even that. Persephone. Oh, okay, there you go. I have I had quite a few. So here we go. Here's one. Old Mama 56 shows number 63. So let's see if we have done that one. Number 63. Ah, uh, no. We have not. And, um, it is one that I am going to veto. No, ma'am. No. I'll move this and you can come right there. There you go. I'm putting that back in because it is a bucket hat. So, um, I'm not going to put it back in right this second. So, let me pick another one. Here. You can have my chair. You want my chair? Okay. So I still have this one in my hand. This is the one we're putting back. Where'd you go? Okay, so yeah, she's sitting in my my chair. All right, let's go. Uh, are you going to tell me when to stop again? No? All right. 
Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, and this last grab will eke out one. Here we go. Okay, so I still have this one right there. I'm going to put down right there. Let's see what this one is. Okay, Diane K. Picked number 14. So, let's see. Can I have my chair back? Or we can share. We can share. Number 14. I do not think we have done this one. Save to a playlist. Hats may bod. Nope. We have not done this one. So this one is How to Crochet Easy Super Puffed Unisex Beanie Hat Bag a Day Crochet Tutorial Number 413. Tutorial Number 413. It, uh, Looks like it's going to be lots of puffs. So, um, yeah, that's it. This is the one we are going to be doing. Diane K. All righty. Let me put this one back in because I know I'm still going to do Bod Hat of Palooza because I said that I was going to make every hat that she has um, made a tutorial for. I just, it might just be a little different. Not sure yet, but it's going to go in here. Um, oh, where'd my, I just had my notebook. Okay, well, I'll put it in my notebook when I find it. So, there we go. So, um, don't forget to stay around for the slideshow. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow in uh, the Wednesday Wipeout video. So thanks, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.